Hi, this is Pot. On this script, I will talk about the workflow from Illustrator or Photoshop to After Effects composition. So if we start working on this demo here, uh, I have my Illustrator organizing by layer. So you can see a list of layer I have. Okay, let me show you the scene. Uh, on this scene, I have the like foreground crowd, right? And I have a, a balloon. And I also have a pagoda, three of them. And also have a background with the sky and sun. All right, so everything is in Illustrator layer. And then I save it. Okay, now I want to open this as a composition in Photoshop. Oh, sorry, in After Effects. So when you look at After Effects new project, right, you have two options. One is a new composition from scratch, which is we described earlier what it's about. And second, we have a new composition from footage. So in this case here, I'm going to use a new composition from footage. So when I click it up and it's asking to open, so I select my Illustrator file, balloon.ai. So when I import, right, it's going to give me the option. Uh -huh. So the first option I have, uh, I can import this as a layer, or sorry, uh, import as a footage or a composition. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what option you do you have if you import as a footage, right? You have option to merge all layer together to be a single layer, or you can choose the layer you want to import. So it's give you a list of the layer you have in your Illustrator or your Photoshop, okay? And then you also have a layer site or document site so in this case here, uh, if I set up as the A4, so if I select the document size, each layer will be size of A4. But if I select only retain layer, so my balloon size is going to be very small, for example. Or my crowd or my pagoda will be only that crowd or pagoda size only. So I think that will be better for management. So in this case here, I should choose the layer instead of document size. And then what else you have? Um, you have the composition. So this is what we're going to discuss about, right? We're going to import as a composition. And it's going to be a layer size. Okay. Now what you have, you have the balloon composition and also you have the balloon layer you know, or the list of the layer. Now, um, if I turn on my guide here, so you can see it's going to look exactly what it's supposed to look in Illustrator right here, okay? Right there. So you can see the action save area and title save area in Adobe Illustrator, which is, you're going to see the same exactly in After Effects. Now, when you look at the composition, double click on the composition list, and then you look at the, the file, right, on the composition. Right now, what you, you have, you have a list of the layer, just exactly like in Illustrator. So now I can show you a bit uh, if I animate it. For example, I select the balloon and then I press P and then I'm going to animate this position by start using the um, the keyframe. Okay, so I start with the balloon. So you can see the balloon size is quite small. Okay, so now I'm going to animate the balloon from left and you know, move it to the center right there. Uh -huh. So the balloon will go not quite, you know, level. So I give it, you know, a bit of a bit windy. 
so the balloon will go like a bit of windy effects uh, right okay let's see now you can see the balloon approach to the scene all right so this is the the way that you can import and organize the object into after effects 